Hi, I'm Annie Fitzsimmons. I'm your Washington Realtors Legal Hotline lawyer. And I want to talk to you today about who can offer seller financing. Can every seller out there offer seller financing? The answer is no. Most of the sellers you work with probably can, but not every seller can. You have a, a, a handy guide as to whether or not your seller can offer seller financing if you look at the very top section of Form 22C. Form 22C, as in CAT, is the seller financing addendum. And the very first section of 22C uh, has a series of um, qualifications for the seller who is allowed under Washington law to offer seller financing. And essentially, a professional seller or a professional lender is not allowed to offer seller financing. Said differently, you can't, a, a person can't pretend to be offering seller financing when really what they're in the business of doing is making loans. So if you have a seller who lives in their home and they wanna sell their home and they wanna use seller financing, they can probably use seller financing. If you have a, a, an investor, a, just a, a natural person, they own a rental property, they wanna sell the rental property, they can probably use seller financing. But before you absolutely assure them that they can, you and they should walk together through those qualifications identified at the top of Form 22C. And even, and, and if you do that, and it turns out that they don't meet the qualifications, maybe they've done too many seller financing arrangements in one year, for example. If they've done too many, then they can't offer seller financing. So walk them through those qualifications before you assure them they can offer seller financing. And if it turns out that they can't offer seller financing, well, actually what it, what it will say is you can't use this form. You can't use form 22C. If they can't use, if you can't use form 22C to write their seller financing arrangement, then what form do you use? That would be the first question. And the answer is there's no form for you to use. You advise that seller to seek legal counsel. If they want to sell on seller financing, they've got to write that transaction through their lawyer. You can't write that for them. But assuming your seller meets all the qualifications, it is still entirely possible that that seller will have to have a waiver from the Department of Financial Institutions. In fact, it would be my suggestion to you that whoever your seller is, you recommend that they visit the Department of Financial Institutions website. It's dfi.wa.gov. Follow the links for seller financing and let your, own, let your seller acquaint themselves with whether or not they believe they need a waiver. If there's any level of uncertainty as to whether or not they need a waiver, they should apply for a waiver. Department of Financial Institutions is very liberal in handing out waivers. Whenever a waiver could be available, the Department of Financial Institutions will give the waiver and they're quick about it. This isn't a process that's gonna drag out or stall your seller out for a long time. But if your seller needs a waiver and fails to get a waiver, and they sell their property using seller financing without having gotten a waiver, they're in violation of Washington law. So make sure they go through the process of getting the waiver if they need it or if there's any uncertainty as to whether they need it. They can access the waivers again, dfi.wa.gov, or they can go straight to the waiver process. Um, I uh, the website is S as in seller F financing waivers at dfi.wa.gov. SF waivers at dfi.wa.gov. Again, simple process, but make sure that for your protection and their protection, they go through the process. If you have questions on this topic or any other, please visit the Legal Hotline Library at warealtor.org. And if you wanna ask me a question, click on the link to do so. Thank you for being a Washington Realtors member.